Good morning. Welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, March 11th, and you know what Saturday means. We're going to do a quick review of this garden, then we're going to go to you and celebrate what's going on in your garden. It's overcast today, and I don't care what anybody says. When it's in the mid-50s and there's a little breeze, it's still chilly. It's still winter time. <laughs> we woke up with a light little frost the other morning, and it bit back the three potatoes I had up out of the mulch. But that's okay. Potatoes can take a little bit of frost. I didn't think it was going to frost, or we would have put a little bit of mulch on top of it. Everything else came through okay. He thinks spring's in the air. The daikon radishes, the lettuce we planted in September, and arugula, which is now going to flower. If you're new to the channel and my deep mulch weed-free garden story, you're in for a real treat. Saturdays are reserved to celebrate what's going on in your garden. And we've got some really terrific submissions this week. But let's go ahead and take a look underneath these mini greenhouses and see how everything fared the frost yesterday. Of course, everything that we've planted is a cool weather crop and it can take the temperatures down to oh, 30 degrees. So these weren't hurt at all. Carrots are looking good. The cabbages, the cauliflower, the broccoli. I'm pretty happy with how this is coming along. There are oriental greens, our beets, radishes, purple lettuce. They came through with flying colors. These little carrots and the spinach. Thing is, these rutabagas are a little close together, I think. Let's go on down to Texas and look at Mike and Linda's garden. Take a look at what Mike and Linda pulled from their deep mulch winter garden in Texas. OMG, those are incredible. And I'll bet they're just as tasty as they look. This is fabulous, guys. Thank you. And that's quite a testament to the deep mulch. I'm really glad that you guys joined us and are sharing what's going on in your garden. Now you can do this too. And if you'd like to share what's going on in your garden, just email me at waylandsmalley5 at gmail.com. The address is in the description box below. I guarantee all other gardeners would love to see what you're doing in your garden. This is where we get ideas. This is where we get inspiration. This is where I get the motivation to come out here every day and show you what's happening in this deep mulch garden. And we've been eating off of last year's Swiss chard pretty regular. I expect these to go to seed sometime here in the spring. And the beets and the kohlrabi that we planted in December are coming on strong. Our leeks, you can actually finally see. Our bok choy. One of the reasons I like to let this go to seed. Oh, those are incredible. That's why we do it, because it tastes great. Got some nice kale and young bok choy coming up in this one. And the cabbages we just planted are doing really well. Let's go on down and take a look at Nathan's garden. Nathan's garden comes to us from Alabama. And it's coming on strong. This is terrific. Nathan, as this continues to produce, keep us posted. We'd love to see what you're doing this year in your garden. Thank you. Leave a comment down below and let everybody know just how much you appreciate them sharing what's going on in their gardens. Looks like our turnips are doing okay. The spinach, looks like I got a slug or two in here gnawing on these. Either that or a grasshopper. Cabbages, cilantro, beets, carrots, radishes. They're all doing pretty good in this cold frame. If you remember, we planted these beets and kale in December. That arugula we planted in August, and it's going to seed, which we wanted. Talking about seeds, let's go on down to Texas and see what's going on in Valerie's garden. Valerie's plastic protected seeds started germinating in only three days. As it warms up, I'm going to have to try to use this method for my warm weather seeds. I think I got some seeds from Texas I want to try. 
Valerie's Winter Garden is still producing excellent produce. Your potatoes and onions are looking great. Valerie, I expect some beautiful flowers from that lotus garden. I see you've split it into a second container. You're well on your way. And we appreciate the motivation you bring to this group. Thank you. Valerie, that was incredible as always. Now, if everybody would hit the like button, it would let YouTube trigger the algorithm and get this out to more people that might be interested in learning how to garden in the deep mulch. Now, it wasn't very long ago, and this coal frame seemed like it didn't have very much going on in it. But the cabbage, the carrots, the beets, the spinach, they're thriving, and it's filling this thing up nicely. We're getting pretty close to where we're going to be able to take this down and let those really take off. And you know spring is very close. The blueberries starting to leaf out. And not to be outdone, the blackberries breaking also. A little patch of garlic's doing okay. These came through without a hitch. I am going to have to take them up to the house though. Forecast says we're going to get two or three more really cold mornings. I'm pretty happy that I put in this little greenhouse garden. We'll see what we get. Oh, aren't you pretty? Now, I do invite you to join us. Let us celebrate what's going on in your garden. You can do this too. Remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.